I never really memorized Joseph McGuire's name because he was an acting DNI, or he was the acting director of national intelligence. So I thought he was on his way out the door. But then Trump never nominated a regular DNI, <clears throat> um, because if he had nominated them, then the Senate would have to confirm them. And um, I guess Trump hasn't thought it was important to nominate a permanent director of national intelligence, which the director of national intelligence is, is, was created after the Bush administration. Um, it was created after nine 11 to be a liaison between all the intelligence agencies. I don't know how many intelligence agencies there are. There are like 17 of them. There's a department of energy, there's military, there's FBI, there's CIA, there's, um, DIA, there's NSA, there's, um, national reconnaissance, there's, um, there's, um, I don't know, but there are also people that liaison with foreign governments, um, intelligence agencies, because if you think about it, <clears throat> England has, like, probably almost as many intelligence agencies as we do, but they have a smaller population, so everyone has intelligence agencies, so a lot of the time the DNI has relationships with a lot of people, um, and, and, and so it's, it's very coordinated with the entire intelligence world. Um, but, um, more than anything, they, their job is to maintain communication between, um, or, or, or to like make sure that it, to ensure communication between the intelligence agencies so that, um, people aren't surprised when something knocks on their door and they're, they, they don't even know to know to look for it. Um, so now Trump nominated a new DNI who's who was the ambassador to Germany, and hopefully he's someone that everyone can trust um, because it's that important that um, like like I I don't know I don't know if Trump actually understands the job DNI, but what he needs to understand is that the the reason that job is important is because their job is to communicate between the intelligence agencies, and I feel like they're having a lot of trouble having someone permanent in that job. And, um, you kind of need someone that is in the know for, in the long term, um, to, to have that position, you would think, um, or at least like, or is, is close to being in the known, in the, in the know so that like it's, it's so that they're not going to get surprised by stuff because they need to kind of know who, who everyone is and they need to, they need to know who to talk to. They need to know where to get information. Um, and it, that's, that's why it's concerning that we've had. Because before uh, McGuire was Dan Coates, and Dan Coates was just like five minutes ago. Seriously, Dan, Dan Coates was like last year. Um, so, but Dan Coates was was a he was a senator, right? I don't know. Um, I feel like he did he resign during imaginary World War Three. Probably, I feel like imaginary World War Three is a lot was a lot worse than I realized for a lot of people. Because it, it was that stressful, but it's also kind of important to put that much stress on people to, to convince them to, to recognize the situation that we're in. Because if, if we're not, um, because really, if, if we're not careful, um, we could end up being the Byzantine or being the end of Rome, you know, the end of the United States. And because really, like, we can lose our dominance, especially if we... Um, if people lose confidence in us because um, our government is that messed up. <clears throat>